As part of the coalition agreement, the government promised to protect NHS spending. This year alone, we will be spending £122 billion on healthcare, making it the second largest item of public spending. But what do we get for our money? Despite record levels of spending, the NHS doesn't compare well to our European peers. Comparing obvious measures of health, such as life expectancy, doesn't necessarily tell us anything about the quality of a country's healthcare system. One measure that does is mortality amenable to healthcare. It is best thought of as deaths which should not occur with timely and effective healthcare. When we compare the UK with our European peers, we see that the NHS performs badly and, while the gap is closing, in 2008 that gap equated to a whopping 11,749 deaths that could have been averted. That's 2,000 more deaths than from alcohol, or four times as many as from road accidents. And when we look at the amount of money we're spending on healthcare, something interesting emerges. While NHS performance is improving, it does so at an almost constant rate, despite huge increases in spending. Money alone has no discernible effect on mortality rates. The solution is not indiscriminate spending, but fundamental reform. Our healthcare system is too centralised, with very little room for independent decision making. It is too heavily managed by politicians, who too often have no healthcare or management experience. And it fails to give patients enough choice over how they receive their healthcare. That wastes lives.